Good morning, everyone. It is 8 a.m. in Bintan, and we are taking you for something quintessentially Vietnamese this morning. Now, much like egg coffee, this dish was born from hard times and poverty. But this country is really good at taking those things and making them something really special. So we are going to take you and have some very traditional Vietnamese breakfast. In the north, in the central, and in the south of Vietnam, you will find this dish and you should try it everywhere because each region makes it a little bit differently. Come on, let's go. No, small, medium, medium size. Medium size. He's with it. Oh, look at that beef. That looks fantastic. Beef brisket. Herbs. <laughs> oh, we've got all kinds in there. Some skin. Okay. So you may have guessed from my introduction, but we are here having phu. And I've actually had my eye on this place for quite a while, and we are finally here. So this is the first time we've had it at this restaurant. We'll see how it is. And we also got some of their traditional Chinese breadsticks. They actually created this back in the 50s to kind of make it a little bit more filling. And so you dip the breadsticks in the soup as you eat it. And so this is also a tradition born of the times. So our soup has arrived, so let me talk you through what goes in it. So one of the first things that you put in is this nice bit of bean sprouts. And then you have some fresh lime and chili that you put into it as you wish. Um, I always put a little bit of both in. I like to squeeze some lime in at the end. Here, a whole big thing of fresh herbs. This is what I was talking about. This is the southern way of doing it. Here, we have some garlic. So I always put a bit of garlic in. And there are some other condiments to go with it as you please. So you can put some of the other sauces in to your taste. I love bean sprouts. So I start by putting a handful of bean sprouts in and we'll just see what we've got in here. And we'll start putting these in. What else have we got? This one, I like this one too. No idea what it is, but it's delicious. Take another one of those. Anybody know what this is? If it is, tell us. I know somebody's explained it to me before, but my memory is not that great anymore. But it's delicious. A little bit more. I'm just gonna put a couple of bits of the fresh chili in. Not too much. And here, some lime. Top. Oops, that wasn't good. <laughs> here we go. And I'll put this here, just hold it. It's a lot of garlic. I like, I like garlic. Okay. I'm gonna mix it together. Mix it all together, and now we're gonna give a bit of it a try. The fresh er herbs make it for me. So I'm not convinced I'm gonna like it as much, but I love this, it's delicious. That freshness, that bit of crunch that the fresh herbs give it, really great. Now let's try one of these. Now, it's really crunchy to start. I've actually never had the breadsticks with it, but I just saw them today, I wanted to have them. Mm. So we're trying these um, interesting Chinese breadsticks as well today. And you can see, super crunchy. Let's 
see what it's like with the soup. So these were meant to fill you up. Ooh. So yeah, it adds some texture. It also adds a bit of um, volume to the soup to keep you full until you get your next meal. Really good though, I like it. Give us a try. Really nice. Really good breakfast or lunch. I mean, people have it all day long, but mostly it's for breakfast or an early lunch. Well, here I am making my little guest appearance in this one. Girls just wanna have fur. And fur it is for breakfast. Um, I'm nearly finished. Not my usual breakfast. Steph, how do you do fur for breakfast? My ideas as of breakfast as I've gotten older have become unfixed. So whenever I was younger, I thought I needed bacon and eggs or toast or cereal for breakfast. But the older I get, the more I think I can have whatever I want. Today it's fur. This is what I've been waiting for. Love it. with them because it's really hot to have soup I find it a lot more fun <laughs> so we'll end this one now uh, yep. thanks for watching we're girls on the loose we'll catch you next time and I just want to add one more thing some people say fur is overrated I actually disagree I think it might be overemphasized whenever foreigners come here that all they're thinking about is fur but I don't think it's overrated it is a delicious dish it is and that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. We're girls on the loose. We are, and girls just wanna have fur. <laughs> girls just wanna have fur. Catch you next time. Woo! Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Great breakfast, two furs, and breadsticks, 100,000 dong. So that is a little bit over $4. Great value here. Awesome. Great breakfast. So happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs>